Hey everybody, now I'm here to show you the ability to remote debug experiences in PhoneGap on iOS 6. Now, iOS 6 allows you to leverage Safari's remote development tools to actually debug the, what's happening inside of the web view on iOS devices or in the iOS simulator using Safari's developer tools. So what I'm showing you right here on the screen is a PhoneGap application that's actually running in the iOS simulator. Let me go ahead and pull Safari here. In Safari, if you click on the develop menu, you're going to be able to see uh, the iOS simulator if it's running and then also uh, any connected iOS devices. And right now I don't have any applications running on my iPad. But you can see the index.html file that's for the iPhone simulator. And you'll see that when I mouse over that, it highlights what's happening in the simulator. I'll go ahead and click on that. It launches the developer tools. Now, once you're in the developer tools, you can have full inspection of the DOM, well, inspection and ed edit ability of the DOM. So I can come in and let's say if I want to change styles on something, I can do that. Uh, you know, I, I can trace the entire DOM tree. I can turn on and off CSS styles, for example. If I change the width, width and height of this button, or if I change the background style, you can see that as I'm turning these styles off in the debug tools, it's updated in the application. And you can see that I can interact with it in the way that you would expect to be able to interact with the application that's running in the web view. I can click on buttons, I can perform whatever kind of events that are happening, I can request data. You interact with it the same way you would expect to interact with it. But when you do, you can, like I said, inspect the DOM. You can also set breakpoints. So if I go ahead and let's find location view, and if I just set the render function here, and I'll go ahead and click this. You can see that I've now set the break, a breakpoint on the render function, and I can go through and step line by line uh, to see one values that are in memory. So I can see the arguments. I can see references to specific objects and see what the actual values and structures are that are in memory in JavaScript in the current thread of execution. And you can see the entire call stack. Um, so if you wanted to trace all the events and see where functions are being called from, you could do that. I'll go ahead and let that finish. And you can see, oh, look, we have another breakpoint on render. Let me go ahead and remove that breakpoint and let it go again. And now the application is running just, just as we would expect it. I was able to, to inspect the DOM, set breakpoints in CS, inspect what's happening in memory, all using the developer tools that are from Safari that are connected to the experience that's running inside the iOS simulator. Now, I've shown the iOS simulator. Let me go ahead and launch an application actually on the device. So I'll switch over to Xcode. And let me go ahead and launch the application on my iOS, or excuse me, on my iPad. So it's launching. And once the app is running on the iPad, I can switch over to Safari, which I'll do now and go to the develop menu and you'll actually be able to see the phone gap application running in the developer menu for whichever iOS device you've selected. So I'll go ahead and select index.html. You'll see on the device that when you hover over the different HTML DOM elements that they will be highlighted on the device. And you can do the same kinds of things that I just showed you with the iOS simulator. So I can inspect DOM elements, I can set breakpoints, I can change CSS styles. So for example, let me jump to my application JS and I will set a breakpoint. Um, I've already got a breakpoint on get state county. So when I select the state, it's going to call the get state counties function. So when I select Delaware, we set a breakpoint and you can see that I've actually set a breakpoint in the application that's running on the device and I can step through that. I can see the current reference uh, to objects in memory. I can see the call stack here on, on the left-hand side. And I'll go ahead and continue execution. And you can see that it loaded the data from the server. It displayed the, the counties here. And if I select one of those, it's gonna perform another action. And that is remote debugging on iOS. This does require iOS 6, but it can be incredibly, incredibly useful for debugging applications that are actually running on devices.